Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Raspberry Pi 3 running Android TV. I wanted to test out the PSP emulator. I have a few games here installed on the internal storage. This is what I could fit for now. Um, I'm using a mouse and a wired Xbox 360 controller. It's kind of giving me a hard time as you can see it's going so fast here. First game we're going to try is Little Big Planet. Now I've messed with the settings a little bit. Let's load this. I have a load state here. Okay. Let me turn the... I'm just going to hit this load state up. Now I have the FPS listed up in the top right hand corner as you can see. This game should run at 30 FPS. The rendering resolution in the PPSSPP emulator is set to 2x. We can go down and get better performance out of games but then you know it's at the risk of the graphic fidelity. And this looks pretty good for a PSP game on a big screen. Now I'm recording at 1080p, 60 FPS. I use an Elgato HD game capture. Elgato 60. But I am surprised that it's running this well. We could definitely probably get full speed. We're only a few frames off by lowering the resolution. I'm going to get through this. We'll go to the first stage and if it's not looking too good, you know, the frames per second, we will try to lower the resolution. Now this build is far from done. This was provided by Geek Till It Hurts. There's a link in the description. Also I have a link to a video tutorial on how to install So Cody works great on this build also. I installed Aeris Wizard and I actually, all night long I left it running and I had no problem. I woke up this morning, it was still on, still working. So yeah, we're dipping down to the 26 FPS. Now this is still playable and I know some will argue, but when we get to this first stage coming up, it can get a little harder on the CPU and GPU. I'm going to skip on over to the first stage here. So we're going to the first level now. And this is where we will see if we... Yeah, we're at 16 FPS. So it has definitely dropped. Now we can do a resolution drop by clicking exit to the menu go to settings we're gonna go to rendering resolution and turn it to one now this will scale down the graphics but it's definitely a lot faster and it will be playable at this frame rate 25 to 30 FPS is decent for this game here it's not that you know it's not a super fast paced game so but you do have the drop in resolution so he looks a lot you know you can see the lines a lot more now you can scale the screen down but you won't have a full screen view and it should look better by dropping the you know the size of the screen it will make it look a little cleaner but for this test here I'm just gonna be running through this at the lowest resolution we have which is one times PSP but I gotta say I'm actually very impressed that it's running within Android on the Raspberry Pi 3 I'm surprised that it even launched now I have tried a lot of games um, Google Play games newer games and really nothing will launch because 
there is no Google Play services installed. And it's not as simple as installing the Google Play Store anymore. Um, you have to download GAPS and flash GAPS to your system folder. It's not like old Android where you were able to just install the Google Play application and have Google Play access. There's Google services and everything that need to be installed for certain games to work. So this is running very, very well. And I, now that I see this game running at this resolution, I am pretty sure we're not going to get that great of performance out of many other games. Um, this is one of the best performers on the PSP emulator, so let's back out and we're going to try Tekken. But before I do, I'm just going to go back to 2x times. And we will start. Tekken Dark Resurrection. Now I'm pretty sure we will not be able to play this at full speed, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay. Already getting some lag in the menus, so. Yeah, most definitely not going to be playable. Whoa. What the heck happened? Ah! Something's freaking out. Okay, let me let me try this again. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have trouble here. A lot of shaking going on screen. And we're at 30 FPS. Let's turn the res down on this game also. Just to see how it runs at 1x PSP. Not much of a improvement at all. We got a four frame improvement. This game is a harder game to run on a PSP emulator. Now, it's nothing like God of War. God of War is just crazy hard to run. I'm not even going to try it because I know it won't work. So, I can guarantee you it will not play half decent on this. Now I'm going to go back, I'm going to install my Kingdom Hearts, and we'll try Kingdom Hearts. Let's try Kingdom Hearts now. I'm going to leave the resolution down because I know we're going to need it. Fast forward all this for you, and we'll get right into some gameplay. So we're at 1x resolution. Now, if this runs decently, I will turn it back up to 2, but I doubt we're going to be able to achieve that on the Raspberry Pi 3. Yeah, we're already at 23, so... I mean, it was worth a try, guys. You know, you never know. And like I was saying, that little big planet game runs really well on a lot of devices. That's why I always try that first and then move on to the harder games. So, you know, it's pointless now to even try anything else. Got a lot of glitching going on down there at the bottom. So I know that the PPS. PP emulator used to have an option to make the screen smaller and it sped up the game tremendously. So what I'm going to do is just try this 
I'm not sure if the setting will still work to speed games up. But since we're having such trouble with this, I will display layer editor, manual scaling, re oh, move, um, and we'll just bring it down, center it up, back, back, continue. Okay, so it didn't take my, um, you know, screen down. So let's try resize here. Okay, back, back, continue. Nope, something's up with the setting. And it's probably manual scaling, auto scaling. It's probably due to just the Raspberry Pi itself. So I was hoping that would work. We're at 20 FPS. Um, it, it'll be unplayable at 20 frames per second. You can see we got so much slowdown. So get a blitz attack going. Yeah, I got to lock onto this target. Well, that's it, guys. It was definitely worth a try testing these games out, seeing how it did. You know, the PPSPP emulator did launch on the Raspberry Pi running Android. Pretty cool. Uh, if we can get some more development on the GPU driver and CPU kernel for the Android build on the Raspberry Pi, we can probably achieve some really good emulation with this emulator and most of the other ones. It really boils down to uh, the development. If people are willing to work on the kernel and the GPU driver, we could definitely have a full-blown Android system on the Raspberry Pi. That's it for now, guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. I am going to do the Dreamcast emulator. I've already had a request for, I've had five people ask me. That's the next video I am making, so it will be uploaded directly after this. Hit that like button and subscribe, because I have a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.